Welcome back to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith, and this is this is me doing some more cheap, easy land. This is where I get the land. So today I want to do a mailer. I want to send out some mail. I want to get some cash offers out there. Hopefully my voice isn't too far off. I got a lot of sun this last weekend. I got sunburned. I think it just it just knocked me out. So see if my voice can hold up. But what I want to do is I want to mail out some offers and. Um, give away some land so if you're just chiming in um, just listen in I'm gonna try to give away some land today I'm not gonna try I'm gonna I'm gonna give some land away to some lucky visitor if anyone shows up to watch this this silly little show <laughs> I'm gonna give some land away and hopefully they'll come back again and again and again and try to get some more land and it's land that you, I think you could probably turn around and sell it for 500 bucks or thousand bucks or maybe even two thousand bucks so it seems like it should be worth showing up for Got a couple guys signing up there. Thanks guys for signing in, taking a, a look at this uh, this live video. I'm gonna switch it from my face over to the screen. And just bear with my voice. <laughs> Someone says, wow, I love your show. Sounds good. It's a show about land. We're gonna talk about land. Um, my wife says I can buy land for myself, <laughs> finally. She wants to have horses. I mean, she has she has like a dozen horses. But we rent a place that we keep the horses. And uh, we're going to take a trip to Sweden the next couple weeks. She's from Sweden. And then when we get back, she says it's okay to start shopping for land around this area where we're at that we can have the horses. So <clears throat> coming up, I think I'm going to try. I'm going to swing. I don't know if it'll happen because it's pretty expensive around here. But I'm going to try to buy some land and uh, that we can set up a horse ranch on and you know build the whole sucker just build it out make some videos about building it invite you guys to come make a fool of myself with me <laughs> trying to build stuff try to get the kids involved and go for it but for right now i gotta finance it and so if we're paying for that i'm gonna buy some land i'm gonna sell it for more buy some more land sell it for more and this is how i do it so if you want to get involved i mean feel free to pick up the phone give me a call my website's realvacantland.com there's always different ways to get involved this one today, I'm looking at Shasta County. So I got this map up here, this green box. I don't know if you can see it very well, but this green box is Shasta County. A lot of people have heard of Mount Shasta. Mount Shasta is just north of the border here in Siskiyou, Siskiyou County. I'm never gonna say that right. But Shasta County, um, I mailed this place in the past, last year sometime, I don't know exactly when, but I bought a dozen properties or something like that, sold them all. And uh, now I'd like to go back for more. There's one neighborhood there, Ponderosa Private Subdivision, that uh, most of the properties that, that come up are in that neighborhood, you know, like one acre kind of size ones. And they got little dirt roads and a little bridge that's washed out one angle, but a bridge that works another angle. And it's just a humble little community in the middle of nowhere. I mean, those are the cheapest lots in the neighborhood or in the county. That's like the... I don't want to say broken, but basically broken neighborhood that comes in the cheapest. So what I want to do is I want to cut that neighborhood out. I want to make higher dollar offers to everybody else in that county that has land that meets my, you know, middle of nowhere, countryside, vacant kind of criteria that I might have a shot at buying. And uh, offer them more than I offered in the past. In the past, I offered them, I think it was four grand. And I bought a whole bunch of properties for four grand. This time I thought I would cut off the bottom of the database, you know, the, the worst ugly ones, the fuglies, you know, no access, bottom of the river, ridiculous mountainside things. Try to get rid of them and just go with the middle. Cut off the top ones or the fancy, fancy ones that, you know, <clears throat> probably going to get a lawyer thrown at me if I actually buy them for the prices that I'm offering. Um, and just try to hit the ones in between. So that's the idea, that's the strategy, that's what we're working on today. I'm just going to have to bear with my voice. Hello from Western New York. <laughs> Hello. I just catch your show right before bedtime. Yeah, I, I do. I like to do the show like after the kids go to bed. Um, Dave's saying, hey Luke, good morning, afternoon. Hi guys. I'm allergic to California, that liberal virus. <laughs> good job, Anthony Jenkins. You know, California has got pros and cons. It's yeah, it's a very liberal in lots of ways. I mean, take my kid to the park and he likes to play with sticks and hit everything in sight. And the liberals start dancing about how he shouldn't play with a stick. I'm like, ah, I'll give him a bigger one then. 
you know, I kind of like to make fun of it. Um, you got a horse going through there. I'm in a transition house. Will truly bless me to own a piece of land. Exactly, right? I was just talking to a guy. I don't know if he's on the show or not. Probably put my foot in my mouth. Um, he's, he's buying a piece of land this morning that uh, he's been homeless for 40 years. 40 years he's been homeless and he gives me a call to buy some land. I'm like, it's so, it just like warms my heart. I'm proud. Like, you go, dude. You, you go make it happen. He's going to put a shed on there, live in it, and it's going to be like the best place ever. He'll just add on and work, work on it from there. Like, I know the regulations, where you can do that, where you can pull it off. Like, I got a bunch of properties to choose from in his price range. It was cool. It was a really cool phone call. So, life changer for that guy. Um, yeah, you guys talking back and forth. Uh, take me home to Shasta County. There's Chris. Um, I love Arizona. You guys always have, have land available. Yeah, we got land all over the place. Just doing some paperwork before this call and some Florida land. Um, so if Jason's listening, Jason got that deal. Let's get into this thing. I only have about an hour or so. Then I'm going to do another mailer with uh, Marcos. We've had on the show in the past. I'm going to get him on. We're going to do another mailer. We're going to give away some more land. So i got to do this one. i got to get it out of the way before we get on the phone next call with Marcos. So I got uh, Shasta pulled up. I've done this so many times, guys. I'm not even going to look at the market in Shasta. Because <laughs> if you go through like all the trades in the county over the last year or something, they're most all my trades. Like I got the cheapest stuff in the county. Like the... Dude. I know that market better than most most anybody else. So we'll pull up what's for sale right now. But I know like the history of trades there. I mean, <clears throat> they're all my trades. So Shasta, I want to get that one neighborhood out of there. And I was looking at the data sets like school codes, zip codes. I mean, we tried. I tried on. Tuesday, Monday morning, tried to do it by zip code. Couldn't do it by zip code. There's not enough data in there by zip code. The school codes, the book and page, the APNs, like all these different ways. Yeah, I, can, I can't I can do a negative search with this database that I have. So I was thinking about it. I'm just going to pull down all the data with that neighborhood that I don't want to bid on in there. I don't want to, I'm not going to say I don't want to bid on I just mailed it. I mailed it at a lower price um, a month ago or something. They already got my offers. Like the phone's already ringing on it. I just want to mail the rest of the county. And when I pulled that data set, I wasn't thinking. I, did, I thought I could like ostracize it next time. So I think what I got to do this time is pull all the data and then get it into a spreadsheet and then drop out everything between one APN number and another APN number. Unless you guys come up with another way to do it. That's the best thing I can think of. <clears throat> Sorry. My voice isn't holding out, but I feel like I could go run a marathon. It's just, you know, just my voice and nasal stuff. So I got this search pulled up here, and I'm not sure I want to use this exact same land use because I pulled it off a different county. It's uh, state land use. I might do a county land use to get more precise, but let's see what we can get. I got Shasta County. Last time I did this, I did, I think it was one acre to... I don't know. Let's do some bigger acres. So I want to get 40s in there. So let's do like 45 acres. Because <clears throat> that's not very many. There's not very many of those bigger ones in here, I don't think. So 0. 0.7 to 45 acres. Uh, no improved percent. What I'm trying to do there is I'm trying to get rid of stuff that's got stuff, things built on it. Whether they put in a water well or a building or a barn or a, if they ever pulled permits for anything. It's probably got uh, some improvement percent on there, so I don't really want those. I'm putting property tax in there, five dollars and up. I put five. You know, I would love to own property. It's one dollar a year property tax, but really, usually those properties are the ones you do not want to own. <laughs> and I've learned that the hard way. So I'm just gonna put five bucks and up. I might raise that up some more. Let's play with it a little bit and see what kind of numbers we get. I'm not starting super, super fresh on this one because we started earlier playing with this mailer on Monday's live call and I didn't finish it. Um, so it's kind of a two-part series. So 2462. I like to write down 
how many records I find on these mailers as I play with the attributes and see what happens, you know, where they break. <clears throat> One guy's asking, how often do you find land in Florida? I've never mailed Florida. I, uh, I don't even know how to do the deeds in Florida. I probably sound like an idiot. But uh, my partner, um, Jason, does, and so I'm getting paperwork from him and working with another land dealer. He mailed Florida, and he's getting a deal through there, and he posts property on my website. So that's how the Florida ones are coming in. I can't cover all this land, so it's a couple other land dealers, group us grouping together. Um, it would be pretty nice. Thank you for helping people. <laughs> yeah, another California person. Good luck to you. Um, it was 5 to 40. My phone is slow right now. Keep missing parts of this, bummer. Sorry. I got green lights. It seems to be pumping on my side. Um, Dan, a couple guys saying hi. Hi, Dan. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming aboard. So I got the basics on here. I think what I want to do is I want to bump up the property taxes, which sounds like an oxymoron, but... I don't want to offer lots of money to the junk, junk, junky properties. Um, let's try $25 and see what happens to the, the numbers of properties. 2462 last time, this time 2444, 24. That didn't barely touch it. 20 properties, it's like 1%. So under 25 bucks not much of anybody has less than 25 dollar property taxes let's bump it up a little bit more let's try let's try 40 bucks ideally i'd like to get rid of the bottom five or ten percent or something yeah as i probably offer the lowest prices but i still want the best properties <laughs> 2389 what is that? Three, eight, nine. That's less than a hundred. That's hundred ten. That's about five percent, right? Let me do that math. I'm not very good at this. Twenty-four sixty-two minus twenty-three eighty-nine. Seventy-three. That's not. That's not five percent. It's three percent. Let's bump it up a little bit more. 60 bucks <laughs> so one guy's saying you told me about land in Arizona with power can I do payments 500 down and payments I mean I do a lot of payment plans um, I'm not exactly sure which property you're talking about with power um, if you can find it um, now, if you go on my website, ruralvacantland.com, and you zoom in on the properties, I mean, if it's got power, I try to put it in the title, try to, like, point out there's power there. The best way you're going to see is by going to the property and visiting it. <laughs> but I mean, you could probably zoom in on satellite images and stuff and, and see if power's there. Numerous times, guys have called me up, and they're like, I'm standing on your property. You got to advertise for blah, 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 you know, some cheap little price. And there's a water well here. And you didn't say anything about the water well. Am I on the right property? I'm like, geez, I hope so. You should buy that thing right away if it's got the water well on. I'm not going to change the price. If you don't buy it, I'm going to change the price. I'll probably send someone out there to test the well, up the price on it. But I buy this stuff sight unseen, guys. So, like, the first one that goes out there and looks at them, um, I usually end up taking off with it. They love them. Sometimes they hate them. But for the most part, they love them. They take off of the properties. So 60 bucks and up taxes. Let's see what that does to the count of properties. Jessica Green, sorry about my voice. <laughs> Let's see if I could turn up the volume a little bit. See if that, that amplifies it. That might help. I'll try that. I'll try to amplify it. Hopefully that helps. If anyone can tell a difference in the voice, that'd be nice to know. So 2267. 
that's like 10%. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So that's about 10%. Much better? Good. Better? Good. Uh, thanks, guys. I just changed some settings. Um, hopefully I don't amplify it so much that it gets distorted. <laughs> but uh, I think we could take 10% off the bottom. That sounds good. Now let's see what we could take off the top. So 60 and greater, 60 bucks taxes and greater. I want to take out the tops. Let's try $1,500, see what happens. It's spinning its wheels. It's gotta be a boring video, like checking a database. <laughs> Blake Jones saying, I see you You mail counties you've already mailed in the past. Are you worried about competition, saturation, et cetera, especially in the Southwest? Yeah, of course. I'm always worried about saturation. <laughs> but uh, 2192. That didn't take it down much. Let's take it down some more. So let's talk about that. Saturation. There's a county, San Bernardino County. Or... <laughs> Mojave County. Let's talk about Mojave County. Mojave County, Arizona. Man, I must have mailed that thing half a dozen times. I think I got properties every time. That's like this Darter's Paradise kind of county to go mail. Because there's always people that want to sell land there at some price. And, um, you know, you can you can always buy more. And you can sell it too, especially in the winter. People want to get out of the, the cold up north. Mojave's nice and warm. Um... So Mojave is a good easy one to go mail. And they, they probably get mail like every month. You know, if you own land in Mojave, I've owned land in Mojave. I'd get mail in my mailbox all the time. The people still buy land. Other land dealers call me up with asking questions and stuff. 2091. That's maybe 5% off the top. Let's cut it a little thicker. But they mail it and they mail it and they mail it some more. And they still get deals. Deal after deal after deal. The Mojave is a an ex extreme example because if you look at how many records there are in Mojave it's crazy numbers like your, your database doesn't go that high lots of times you gotta like download different sets put it together and mail the whole county so I think people mail like they don't have enough money to go mail the whole county there's so many properties in there like the postage bill of sending out taxes in Mojave County is probably ridiculous I mean, there's so many properties in Mojave that are just like vacant, undeveloped. People have been splitting and splitting and splitting and splitting properties for years. And they're still in, in flux. They're still not like settled down with a home. You know, somebody that is going to keep them forever, a family that's never going to let go. So they keep selling. People keep selling those properties for stupid low prices. And you can keep marketing them for nice high prices compared to what you bought them for. There's tons of tons of competition. So 2028. So that took off like 200 records. That's like 10% off the top. So we just take out the middle 80% of this data set. I think I'd be happy. So I'm gonna save that. Um, call it Shasta skinned. So I skinned off the bigs and the smalls. Okay. Um, so another example of a saturated market for mailers is San Bernardino County, California. I've mailed that thing, I don't know, a dozen times. And I've, other people I've mailed it with. I, mean, I think I've gotten deals every single time. I mailed out offers a couple months ago in San Bernardino County. And... Uh, Another land dealer called me. It was like, he called me on a Tuesday, I think it was. And that Monday, like the day before, that weekend, I put a mailer together. And I was looking at 40-acre properties. I was looking at the market, and like the spread looked the widest on the 40 acres. So I'm like, okay, I'll just make offers to all the 40-acre properties at some lower number. And I'll probably buy some 40s, restock on the 40s. So I mailed out offers on the 40s. And I was doing my math. I figured like $3,600 or $3,700 or something like that made sense. And so I made the offers, $3,600, $3,700 or whatever, all the 40s that met my criteria. 
And the other land dealer called me and he's like, Luke, I just mailed uh, all the 40s in San Bernardino County and they've been calling me and uh, I got I got like a dozen of them or a half dozen of them, whatever. He got a bunch of them, right? And he said, really? And this, he called me on Tuesday and I just got mine in the mail like Monday. So it's too late. I'm like, damn, I'm going to strike out on San Bernardino County. He just mailed it a couple weeks ago. And uh, I'm like, well, tough luck. Live and learn. I'll just mail some other places. But people started calling. And they said, you know, Luke, I'd like to sell you my San Bernardino 40 acres for $3,600. I'm like, really? Okay. So I bought them. I bought a couple of them. There might even still be some on the website. I sold some of them, too. I mean, just buy and sell one of those things. And uh, more than pays for the mailer and then some. And so this was like three weeks after my friend mailed the same place, the same size properties, the same stuff. He mailed them like six thousand dollars kinds of offers and i mailed thirty six hundred dollars or thirty seven hundred dollar offers and i still got deals like how does that make any sense it just doesn't make sense life changes for people sometimes maybe i answer the phone or he didn't answer the phone or maybe they threw the mail away that day and they got my mail and not his mail i don't know no idea so i've got a huge repertoire of examples like that so no, I'm not worried about the market getting saturated. 2028. I think we just run with that. Someone's asking what website am I using? This is RealQuest Pro. You can get this from uh, from RealQuest for a bunch of money or for a little bit less money. You can get it from Land Academy. Let's see what Land Academy charges. This is this is where I get it. It's from Land Academy. Um, you go to landacademy.com, and uh, I think they give you a free ebook or something. <laughs> I got a bunch of free stuff, and then if you go through all the free stuff and you actually start paying, then you can get into the. Um, yeah, so here's all the things you get out of the the membership. And one of them is world class assessor database through CoreLogic. <clears throat> And you get it through, you get oh, you get a bunch of stuff on here. Go to landacademy.com to learn more. That's not really the point of this call. The point of this call is to buy some land. Talk about buying land and learn from you guys. Someone say Mojave is hardcore. <laughs> I'm in Oklahoma, want to go off grid. I got a couple properties going on right now in, in uh, eastern Oklahoma, if you check on ruralvacantland.com. Someone saying, how come I haven't got any mail offers? I wonder if he owns land in uh, uh, Mojave. So if you just bought it, it might not be totally registered in your name yet in all the databases. But I mean, over time, you'll start getting offers. You'll get all kinds of offers in the mail. Yellow ones, orange ones, ones that say, call me. Some on postcards, some that say exactly how much they'll pay you. Lots of different kinds. I get them all the time the different land that I own um, I get offers on my own land <laughs> I checked the mailbox the other day and I got an offer for myself I'm like oops I mailed myself an offer I've done that a couple times <laughs> it totally cover the map right um, I think I'm just gonna download this let's take a look at the market a little bit but I think we got our mailer I'm gonna do Zillow. We got some yellow and reds. What's going on? The video's not flowing. My internet crash. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull up the cheapest ones in Shasta County. Hopefully the video is still working. I'm getting a bunch of red over here. It's saying output low and it's buffering. So hopefully it catches up. Or I might have to reset it. Um, yeah, so I was looking at this market the other day. I mean, there's crazy land over here that you can't get to for like six grand. Hopefully I got rid of that with the lower tax. 
getting rid of the low tax stuff. Here's some more crazy land, you, you know, hillside you can't get to, 15 grand. And then it starts at 17 grand and up. So 17 grand and up on the bottom of the market is stuff that might actually make sense. Two and a half acres. This is Oak Run. Seasonal Creek running through the property. Power is only three tenths of a mile following the road. A well and a septic will be needed. I'm thinking this is in the neighborhood that I'm talking about. This is close to the neighborhood I'm talking about. Look at that, 132 views in the last 30 days. There's people like actually shop in this area. Let's see what some of these these other crazy ones, you know, crazy easy price. Let's see if it says how many views. Um, 560 views. Yeah, so people aren't like going down, down, down the list so much, but the better ones probably are. 24. I mean, it, it skips up into the 20s pretty quick. There's this $18,000 for one acre for the stream in of a cul-de-sac. Mill Creek frontage. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. That looks like pretty nice property. I mean, I'd like to go work on something like that myself. Build a house in the trees, a stream in the background. Kids would love to go play in a stream. So I think I just get down to the bottom end of this market. Cause I, I bought them at four grand in the past. But I want to take a bigger bite of this market. So and get some higher quality ones. So I think I'm gonna hit this thing at like ten grand or just over ten grand. And see what I can shake out and then just not buy everything. So if I get like the crazy land in the mountains you can't get to, I'm just gonna pass. And this 80 acres for 29,000 bucks. Probably can't get there. So that's kind of a lineup of the market. Um, Charles says, Creek, yes please, stream is working fine, good guys. Yeah, everyone's saying all good. I'm still getting red lights, but I guess it's working. So I think I basically um, got this figured out. Lonely Lonely Prepper Home says, says, Luke, do you always do snail mail or do you ever do email offers? <clears throat> so it's a very good question. I do snail mail because this information is coming from the assessor. And the assessors at these counties and the tax collector, right? They, uh, they have your mailing address of where to go send the tax bill to get the taxes paid. And this is old fashioned kind of business, right? The counties don't improve. They're not, they're not like for profit and they're trying to outdo each other or something. So they stick with the old systems and they don't ask for phone numbers and emails. And for the most part, they don't have that information on the, on the property owners. Some of them do, but most of them don't. So if you get good at using the mail, like just old school mail, um, you got to pay for it. Uh, it takes time, but I mean, people still open their mail. That was one of the things when I started this business, I was really skeptical, like <clears throat> who really still opens their mail, right? <laughs> so I'd mail out offers like Mojave County, $150 for a property or $300 for your property or something stupid offer. And, uh, People will call me back and they'd yell at me. They get so mad that I offered them like three hundred dollars for their property, and uh, I'm like, "That's what I got. I got three hundred bucks. <laughs> I don't have thirty thousand." And uh, you know, so I just making the offer. And I'll try again. You know, so I was way off of my pricing, but people read the mail. That's where I was surprised. They read the stinking mail, the stupid mail. They opened my letter and they. They had enough time and audacity to like actually pick up the phone and call me back and haggle me over the price I offered. That means they read it. They saw it. They got pissed off. Yeah, they got pissed off. But I can change the price. So I started changing the price. I started making offers on other properties at a little bit of higher prices. Like, okay, maybe I got $500 instead of $300. If I, $600? Does $600 work? <laughs> you know? And then deals start going through. Or people... 
get back to me on my $500 offer and they say, no, I won't, I won't take 500, but I'll take 900 and the property will be like power lines, paved road, or, you know, something better going for it than I thought. And, uh, okay, I'll do the 900 and do the paperwork and do all the whole dance and everything and then go sell it for more, you know, sell it for hundred dollars a month for the rest of forever or something. And, uh, everybody wins. So, uh, nice land Creek. Yes. Streams. Okay. So people are going back and forth. We got green lights again. So let's, uh, let's talk about this one. I want to give some land away today. And, uh, I'm thinking back to the beginning of this call, what I started out with and, um, trying to come up with a good question. Uh, I should think of this stuff ahead of time, right? <laughs> Can anybody name the neighborhood that I want to cut out of this mailer? It's like something named after a tree, private road. This word, private road. And it's like pine tree. It's it's the name of a pine tree. So if someone remembers what I called that neighborhood, that's usually the cheapest land in Shasta County. I mean, you could look at my website and go look at all the properties that I've sold in Shasta County. The vast majority of them are in that same neighborhood. Um, not Joshua Tree, not Oak. It's a kind of a pine tree. There was a show in the past named after it. You know, they rode horses and they had a they had a ranch in, I don't know, Texas or New Mexico or something. This this question might be too hard, but it's it's not spruce. Whoever can uh, name that kind of pine tree, I might not say skew. That's the county. Ponder Ponderous, that's really close. I might go with Jessica Green. I think she's got it. Ponderosa private subdivision. I'm going to go with Jessica Green. That's close enough spelling. I'm not very good at spelling either. <laughs> Ponderosa, Jessica. So Jessica Green, um, I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to give you some land. I don't think you've ever won before. And so how this works is you have to mail, you have to email my assistant. So you can email Gillian. I'm going to type her name in there. Um, let me pull this up. So we're going to email Gillian at ruralvacantland.com. I'm typing it in there so you can just cut and paste it. So email Gillian and tell her how much, um, you know, tell her that you won the land today. Today's date is May 30th. Uh, you know, you want it today, May 30th. I'm going to put it on the spreadsheet um, that uh, I'm keeping track of this. And you got to tell her your title. So the title information. So the title information is if you've never bought land before, you never bought a, a real asset before, maybe you have, and maybe I'm just talking to the choir, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So your title information is what you're going to try to do that, that out, that out, uh, that outdoes you, that outlives you. So every time I do this, people say somebody else. So let's, let's look back at this. So I see Jessica Green, Ponderosa Private Sub. Oh yeah, you're right, look at that. 13K0L11, nice guys. Let's give two properties away. I don't feel like total idiot. <laughs> so 13KOOL and Jessica Green. I'm gonna give you guys both a property. So I'm going to add 13 K O O L 11 to the list too. Um, so same thing, email, email Gillian. And for everyone else that didn't get this, I'm going to do another mailer in like half an hour with Marcos. We're going to do a um, live call kind of thing. So if you come back in about 1230 or maybe a little after 1230, after I get them on the phone and get set up and stuff, I'm gonna give away some more land then too. So if you just got this land, Jessica Green or 13 Cool 11, um, email Gillian, G-I-L-I-A-N at ruralvacantland.com and say, I won the land today, May May uh, 30th, 2018. I'm Luke's mailer about Shasta County, buy a land in Shasta County. And I would like the land in this name, whether it's Jessica Green or you know your company or your trust or your, 
your kid's name, your you and your spouse, or whatever. Um, if if you need help with the title, I mean, let me know. I'll try to help you. I'll try to figure out the title. I'm not an attorney. I'm not going to give you legal advice, but I've seen lots of titles go by, and I might be able to point out what other people use for your scenario, or your what you're doing. The whole point of the title is to get a name that outlives you, because if you just put it in your name and you pass on and you're trying to leave it, leave it to your kids. I mean, your kids are going to have a whole bunch of uh, paperwork and fees to run it through probate court to get it into their name before they can do something with it, before they can sell it, before they can go build on it, before they can before they can uh, uh, mortgage it or something. So, yeah, try to come up with a name that's going to outlive you. Maybe it's a trust. Maybe it's a... You know, you put your spouse's name on there, joint with rights of survivorship. Whoever lives longer keeps the property. Um, there's lots of ways to do it. So maybe Google title or something like that. And try to figure one out or let me know and I'll, I'll try to help you. And so I want the title information, what title you want your property in. I want the address, where to ship this deed to and where this address is going to go to the county. So the county will send you future tax bills on your land. You know, it's not very much, but... They'll send you a tax bill on your land. If you don't want to keep the land, let me know. I'll send you some more paperwork. Um, you can just do like electronic signature thing um, to give me permission to go resell your land. We'll do an agreement where I can go resell it. And I'll go try to sell it for a bunch more than, you, than I just paid for it. And you get to keep all the money I paid for it plus half of the difference between what I paid for it and what I sold it for. Less, uh, you know, like some recording fees and just some basic basic little stuff to like make it happen for you and you probably walk away with some coinage I don't know 500 bucks or maybe a thousand bucks or something like that kind of property and uh, you know for, just for listening and watching and hopefully that breaks the seal it gets you into the land business it might be your first one <laughs> you might go sell it on terms you might you might buy a dozen more or a hundred more or 500 more of them and do it again and again and again and hopefully you trust me to help you with it and take on the next endeavor that you're into. So that's what it's all about. So I think just giving these properties away will get more people involved. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go do the data dance, downloading this data on Shasta and jamming it in the mail. And uh, see if we buy some more Shasta. I like Shasta. It's a fun one. And then I think in about half an hour or so, I'm going to do a bunch of other counties. I got a list. I think maybe six counties, uh, other other counties that I want to mail with Marcos. We'll see, we'll see what his budget is, and I might end up paying for it. I don't know, and uh, just go go swing for the fences on some more of these. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're watching this later on, and you're not subscribed yet. Hit subscribe. Join the club. Join the family. Whatever you want to call it. Watch for the next live video and have a shot at winning some land for yourself. Thank you. Talk to you guys later.